everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break. I'm Mary Frankie. And I'm Brian Felder. On today's show, Mary and I will be talking a little bit about the Golden Globes and some of our top movie picks. We're also going to be talking about the role that LGBTQ media plays in mainstream media. And Brian sits down with Jesse Tyler Ferguson from ABC's Modern Family. are so excited to be a part of Coffee Break, airing on Gay TV on thego.com. Every week we'll be discussing recent news headlines, pop culture, and feature a special guest. I want to personally thank all of you for tuning in because this is our first national show. Gay TV on the go.com is America's new LGBTQ network. We have five regional stations and you can find all the information on our websites. GayNewYorkTV.com, GayChicagoTV.com, GayMiamiTV.com, GayLATV.com, and GaySanFranciscoTV.com. And the thing I love about it is it's TV on the go, so you can watch it anywhere. For instance, I was at the movies a couple weeks ago, and I was waiting in line for my ticket, and I could watch a whole episode on my iPhone. And what <laughs> movie were you seeing? Because there are so many good ones right now. I saw Les Mis. Oh, I've seen that too. What did you think? Oh, well, I thought the picture was absolutely beautiful, and I thought the cast did a phenomenal job, and the acting was really great. I totally agree, but I do think there were a lot of mixed reviews. Like, some people did not like it. Yeah, why? I don't know. I think, um, at least for me, being a musical person, okay. I did not think the singing was that great. I yeah, was not I've that impressed. Yeah, I've heard that comment a lot. Yeah. And I, people like, I, I feel like people either how... loved it or hated it. Exactly. I feel like there's not a lot of mixed you know, reviews, or a lot of people in the middle. Um, did you happen to see Lincoln? You know, I haven't yet. I thought Daniel Day-Lewis did the most phenomenal job. They're saying like he's one of the most talented actors of our time. And he did end up winning at the Golden Globes, obviously Best Actor for that picture. So kudos to him. Yeah, I, I heard that he was very well deserved. So. Speaking of the Golden Globes, uh, did you see that Jodie Foster came out? Yes, I did see that. And I have to say that is probably going to be the most memorable thing of the Golden Globes. I absolutely agree. I feel like that had mixed reviews, though, too, because you know a lot of people congratulated her on finally coming out of the closet. Yeah. Uh, but I also heard a lot of comments that you know, she, we've kind of all known that she was gay for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like, why did it take her so long? But I think a lot of people don't realize, like, you know, she's had this career for 30 or 40 years. Yeah. Had she come out as a lesbian back in the, you know, say, 70s, it could have really ruined her career. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, it just, it comes down to it's a personal thing, and that was her time to do it, so. Yeah, and I feel like she's not the only one. You know, we've had a lot of big recent celebrities come out in the past couple of years. We had mm -hmm. Anderson Cooper that just came out last yeah, year. Uh, Ricky Martin back in 2010. Yeah. And, you know, those are both people that we've speculated for a while. Um, I actually found a uh, tweet from Ricky Martin who tweeted to Jodie Foster um, right. after she came out and basically said, uh, Jodie Foster, on your terms, it's your time not before nor after, whenever it feels right. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah, so hopefully she'll get a little break from the media for a while. Well, and you know, speaking of breaks, we have a weekend getaway package at Hotel Black Hawk in Davenport, Iowa. And this is an amazing boutique hotel less than three hours from Chicago. It's a one night stay in a luxurious guest suite, dinner for two at the renowned Bix Bistro, breakfast for two, Two hours of free bowling in the Martini Lounge, in-room massage for two, and for your chance to win, like Coffee Break on Facebook by January 31st. Be sure to check out their website at hotelblackhawk.com. We'll be right back. The level of luxury that Hotel Blackhawk offers does not stop in the entrance, lobby, or signature restaurant. Every guest is greeted with posh accommodations as they enter their room. While the rooms all have different layouts, all are stunning and beautifully designed. Many of the guest rooms resemble the two-bed, two-bath residential suites, which include large showers and a jacuzzi tub, office areas, large kitchens, washer and dryer and unit, and private patios with beautiful views. The hotel also features a full-service spa, Spa Luce. They have a full fitness center,
and a pool with an outdoor deck. And for a fun evening of entertainment and martinis, make sure you don't miss Black Hawk Bowling and Martini Lounge. Welcome back. Okay, so we were just discussing Jodie Foster, but I have to say what shocked me about the Golden Globes was the fact that Modern Family didn't win. I, know, I love the show. I totally agree. And speaking of Modern Family, so as a straight woman, like what kind of influence do you think, you know, LGBTQ themed shows have on mainstream media? Well, positive, definitely. Um, I think it's a very realistic portrayal of American families today, and I think it's great that it's on TV. But I have to say, I am so jealous that you got to interview Jesse Tyler Ferguson. I have to be honest, it was an amazing experience. I'm a huge fan of Modern Family and of his personally. And we basically, we sat down and we talked about marriage equality and the show Modern Family. Take a look. Hey everyone, I am sitting with Jesse Tyler Ferguson from the uh, hit ABC comedy Modern Family. Thank you so much for being here. It's uh, really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm such a huge fan. Uh, it's really a privilege to be sitting with you. Um, as I think some people might say that marriage equality for gays and lesbians is simply an LGBTQ mm -hmm. issue. Um, as someone that's such a huge proponent of marriage equality, why do you think it's important for all Americans, uh, regardless of sexuality, to care about this issue? Right. Well, I, I, I always hesitate to call it um, Gay, gay marriage. I, I, I would prefer to call it marriage equality. I, I think you know we're all Americans and we all deserve the same rights. I think that's what it boils down to. So I think it's it is an issue for for everyone. You know I'm I'm very interested in in women's rights issues because I feel like they're an equal American just like I am. So yeah. uh, you know I I feel like it's very important to, as Americans to take care of one another. Perfect. Um, you know, let's talk very briefly about Modern Family. I can't sit down with you and not at least of discuss course. the show a little bit. Uh, you know, back in the beginning when you first read that script, would you have pictured it becoming the huge hit that it is today? I knew it was very good. Um, I don't think any of us imagined it winning, you know, all these Emmy Awards and Golden Globes and, you know, in our fourth season to be still so popular and, and growing in popularity. So. It's a happy surprise. Good. Yeah. And, and I think sometimes as viewers, we get so engulfed with the characters themselves that we forget that maybe the actors aren't as similar <laughs> to their characters sure. as we may think. How much do you and Mitchell have in common? Um, well, Mitchell has a, a team of writers who write for him and make him incredibly eloquent and smart and hilarious. <laughs> And I don't have that, so <laughs> that's kind of where it ends. <laughs> um, you know, we're talking about marriage equality. How much do you think shows like Modern Family and, and others really influence Americans when it comes to their acceptance and their perception of marriage equality? Well, you know, it's, it's certainly a hot button topic right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that Modern Family is sort of a cultural touchstone for a lot of people to refer to. Um, you know, obviously it's a sitcom, so the situations are a little over the top, right. and there, are, you know, there are times when we push stereotypes. But you know, I think at the end of the day, what we have is a loving couple that are raising a, a child together and going through a lot of the same issues that straight couples go through. You know, when to fertilize their baby, right. what you know, what schools to t send their children to, um, and I think that people are starting to recognize, you know, in Mitch and Cam the same trials and tribulations that they have and realizing that they're not so different for them. And I think it would be hard for a lot of people to say we wouldn't want to see Cameron Mitchell married. So right. what's so wrong with, you know, Joe and Ted down the street? Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. I'm a huge fan. It was so Thank great you meeting so you. much. Thank you. Join us next week as we welcome Chef Mike Chapter from Urban Kitchen. As always, I invite you to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. If you guys want to follow any of the discussions that we talked about today, I invite you to use hashtag Coffee Break TV. And of course, to win that amazing weekend getaway package that we talked about earlier from the Hotel Blackhawk, like Coffee Break by January 31st. See you next time.